and welcome back everybody today we are going to be making some diamond tools and I think we're going to be attempting the nether for the first time in the series um, let's see so way over there I'm just gonna start walking right now because yeah, I don't need anything else um, I found a cave it's not too too far but it has some obsidian I made earlier and yeah I'm gonna go back there off camera and then we're gonna harvest some of that um, actually I don't think I'm gonna show me harvesting it just for the purpose of not wanting to bore you guys with it so I'm just gonna go harvest it and we'll appear right back there right back at home so I will see you guys then and we're back so I came back from my expedition and I got 14 obsidian, 10 for the portal, and 4 for an enchanting table, 4-4. Four, four. And I've decided that I'm just going to stick it out here, in this mountain probably, because I think it might be far enough away that mobs won't wander into it. And also, because I don't want to sit here watching it, this is just, I was collecting cobblestone a while back, and it's nothing. So we're just going to stick a torch or two around here, and hopefully we'll be good, because I don't want mobs wrecking my nether and surprising me. So I'm just going to build the ghetto version of the portal over here. Place. I don't want to double click anything, so I have to break it again. It's going to be so slow. I think that's one thing that it's good and bad about the game, but I, I think it needs to change just how long it takes for this obsidian stuff to break but anyways let's go get a flint and steel from the house and I have m some more iron armor because I don't want that to die and I have some sugar canes because we're going to need a bunch of them for bookshelves since I have acquired 36 levels in this world without dying which is pretty good I don't think I've died in this whole world. Pretty good. Okay. Die. Die. Yes. You guys are so sad. Sad little slimes. Okay. Go through my little gate. Um, I've brought all my stuff out here from that door. So, yeah. Uh, where's all... Because all before it was just right there, right next to it, and I don't have that much room. Don't need you, don't need you, don't need you, don't need you, don't need you. You. Okay, almost got everything. Let's make myself another book. Because we need two, and yes. I need two diamonds, I, that'll make Mina. I have one left. Don't need dirt with me. Water bucket. Meh, I'll take it. Even though I can't use it in the nether. One, two, three, one, one, two, no. Is that? Yeah. Oh, I only need one book. I'm thinking. I know that. Okay. Uh, there. I don't need all this iron with me. I'll take ten of it. I need a shovel. We'll use this wood. Nope, I already have some. Okay. Make me a shovel, why don't ya? You, you, and you. Yes, that's how you make a shovel, everybody. I don't want you. Okay. Mm, that looks good. Yeah. Let's uh, go. Oh yeah, I forgot my flint and steel. I say close. I think we should cook up some steak before we leave too. That could be a wise decision. Um, steaks, where'd you go? Oh, I have them on me. Okay, let's go up my stairs. This is just where I cook all my stuff. I don't have any actual furnace room until we get the basement done. Or we'll just get another building for it. Not quite sure. Okay, and then once this steak is finished cooking we will embark uh, what's the chances I get this? pretty good okay 
Um, let's plop down our enchanting table right there for now. And we'll th throw... Let's get you off. Let's just get level 1s on the, this stuff. Since we are going to the nether. Yeah, we're looking pretty protection one up. Uh, projectile. Not horrible. Still not horrible, but not as... Oh. Yeah, I'm just waiting for that stuff to die right now. Okay, so once the sword breaks, I have a sharpness one in my back pocket. Let's go get my stake, and we'll embark on our journey. Hey, you go there. Okay, sprint. I sprint to my house. Nothing strange. Nothing strange. Don't mock me. Do I have torches? No, I do not. Oh well. We'll light it up eventually, whenever I remember. But, that time is not right now. Okay. So I'm going to make a backup of this world before we go in, just in case something crazy happens right as we walk in. And I'll see you once I make a backup. <laughs> okay. Ready? Who's ready? Who's ready to go in the nether? I'm ready. Let's go. Ooh, yeah. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Download my terrain. Mm. Oh, this looks good. This looks very good. Oh, we have quartz. Okay, the lag. The loading the nether lag. Okay, I'm gonna pause for a second and get everything loaded in. No lag. It's loaded and we are witnessing lava flowage. The lava just flowed down there. We're witnessing history. This could be a very nice place. Up there we'll build another hub eventually. And well, let's get some quartz because I do need a comparator comparator. Oh. Okay. Oh, I don't want to go over there right now. Hmm. I don't think I'm gonna play in here. I think we're gonna do something else for this episode. But for right now, I do want to get a little bit of this nether quartz, because I think what we're gonna be doing is, well, that. Don't you wreck my shit, you fool. stuff drops into the lake of lava. Of course it does. Okay, let's just get some quartz. Um, for all you guys, whoa, that glows when you punch it. I did not know that. Or maybe I was just fixing lighting here, I don't know. But, um, for all you guys who watched last episode, um, I showed off a little, um, what would we call it, a charcoal, constant charcoal maker thing. Yeah, that's what we'll call it. Constant charcoal. Constant charcoal maker thing. Yeah. So I showed that in my test world. You can go watch it if you'd like. I'm not gonna show what it does right now. You'll have to wait till we finish it. That may or may not be this episode, but I hope it is. But yeah. I'm just gonna gather this and then we're gonna go back home and we'll get started on it because I don't want to use all my charcoal and we're or all my legit real coal and so yeah we have plenty and plenty of wood around we have a forest we have many many forests so yeah so let's go back home sorry if the nether yeah this nether it's getting pretty laggy better leave Everything looks way nicer with Optifying compared to normal. It's way nice. Okay, let's go. Hello world, I'm back. Back from the other dimension. 
There's my lone villager. Hey, lone villager. Okay. Um, let's get me some logs first before. Just. I don't know. Just cause. Just because. Okay. Let's go inside and take a sleep. And. Yeah. I just got really scared because I didn't think I was recording. Oh, that would have been horrible. Little creeper door. Very nice. I'm really liking the button design. That's what I heard. I heard the people like the button rather than the pressure plate. So do I. So that's how it's going to stay unless you get a crazy amount of people. The other version. Okay. So, is there achievement? Oh, dang. You have to get for gas achievement and into fire this Sen return to sender diamonds what why don't I have the diamonds requirement hmm oh we would but we need that we need that we need time to mine oh hmm maybe it didn't catch me making a wooden pickaxe or something oh well okay I'm gonna get some stuff gathered up and I'm gonna clear a little space down there and then we're going to actually no not down there it will be maybe I should stick it in a house I don't know I'll find a place to put it but I'm gonna clear out an area somewhere and we are going to get started on our automatic charcoal cooker constant thing. Okay? Sound good? Yeah, it sounds very nice. Alright, so I gathered some resources. I have my redstone out and a repeater comparator and I made a few hoppers. So what we're going to want to do is I need a... dang it, I need a furnace. Not too hard to make. It's horrible, horribly hard if I can't manage how to move all my items. Yeah. So, in case there's any new people out there, I'm going to go over what this is. Um, basically, uh, let's get my food on my bar, is you stick your wood in the furnace and then just uh, regular logs because that is how you make charcoal. And then with those, you... Um, yeah, what am I talking about? Yeah, so wood go there, and charcoal go there, and then the charcoal gets goes it goes through everything. Ah, I can't talk, and it goes into here where it cooks the rest of your logs, and it keeps going in a circle, and basically the charcoal pulls up because you get eight charcoal because one piece of charcoal cooks eight wood, so it gives you eight more for each um, for each single piece of charcoal. It's probably pretty confusing but yeah <laughs> so what I need to do first is we need to go like I need to get up there so let's jump um, I'm gonna need a chest dang it I just took out a few cactus that's why we have cactus residue over here Um, let's pillar up again. We got so many pillars. Okay, I'm not gonna put that there. The chest would go on top of a hopper there, but I'm not gonna do that yet. Because I don't know if I'm gonna have enough hoppers for sure. Because I can't find where I built the thing. Is that right? No. Okay. Let's see if we can remember how to do this. We need a hopper there, right? Then that goes into... Actually, I need a block here. That needs to be pointing to the side. And we need to go over here. Get me a dropper. This is how you make them, right? Yes, yes it is. Okay. You need to be 
on top of this block pointing upwards we need to get up there okay then another one yeah I got enough pointing there yep okay we're doing this right now okay get rid of some of the scaffolding it's basically it's just a circle it cooks gets sucked out stuck up there we need to do here we'll go in the back is we need our repeater on our bar because I'm pretty sure we'll need it that there block and then you oh no we won't need it or yes we will we will need it. Okay. You, and then we don't need you. We don't need you anymore. Okay, get back up here. So what happens is, once an item is in here, the comparator sends out a signal, powers this block, but only with one signal strength, so it's enough to power this, which powers that, powers block, powers the um, whatever you call, you're called, dropper. So basically, as soon as there any, there's anything in the dropper, it's going to spit it out. Which is exactly what we want. I don't know why I made so much scaffolding. So let's test it out. That was simpler than I thought. I remembered. So what we need to do when we boot it up is just to cook one. Let's get up here. Get a little look at everything. That should flash in just a second. See that? Now in here we have a charcoal. We'll watch it again from inside. It just used up the charcoal. It's gonna come back. Yep. It's working perfectly, perfectly. So we're gonna build a shell around this. One of these days I might have to move it down a few blocks. Because I thought it would go down for some reason. But that doesn't matter. We have it, it's here. So now all we have to do is stick any kind of log in there. And then to get your charcoal, you just grab some out of here. Or when that fills up, out of here. And we can stick a bunch of yeah, We saw one flash through there. So there's one more simple thing. Yeah, that's very nice. Um, what else should we do? Hmm we could, now that we have access to quartz, we can build comparators, which makes it so we can do a whole bunch of this nice new stuff. But what we could do now is, I want to make something one of these days, where you get your hopper, hopper, and you throw something into it, right, like most hoppers do, and it does something. I just want something like that. Yeah. So, what I could do is, um, all you Etho fans, you know there's some out there. In his LP world, he is making a Tamagotchi. I'm not gonna go all the way and make a Tamagotchi that senses everything. Maybe a, just something over here, where you have a hopper, you throw something in it, and then it would, um, like, for example, if you threw it a, a cake wouldn't work, but like a pie or a cookie, it would have the face, which we could do, and the face would go happy, like a rotten flesh, it would go sad, golden apple, it could go crazy face, yeah, so not a complete full-on Tamagotchi, more like a food sensor, or we could do a food sorter too, and it would sort the food. And yeah, I think that could be pretty cool. We got 40 nether quartz out of that. That's a good time. So yeah. Uh, any suggestions would be very helpful. Very, very helpful. And um, I think we're going to end this episode. It hasn't been that long, but I have been doing a bit of AFKing. Um, to find that obsidian today. 
but I'm gonna, good news is, hopefully record another episode directly after this one before I edit or anything. I'm thinking that could be good, and that's what we're gonna do, but, yeah. So, yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. Suggestions, yes, um, yeah, I will see you guys next time when we do something amazing, maybe our baby Tamagotchi. That's what we're going to call him, Baby Tamagotchi. We need a name for our Baby Tamagotchi. But, yeah. For our food-sensing, amazing Tamagotchi thing. <laughs> yeah, so, I'm rambling. I'll see you guys next time in our next episode together. Peace.